Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to part 20 of my Hey Day Let's Play. If you are looking at the sim on screen right now and like, hmm, I don't recognize the sim at all, then you probably didn't watch the last part, or you did, and I just happened to change the sim with the magic of not recording and now he's a completely different sim so this is lionel he obviously aged up into a teenager in the last part and this Loopy is yeah, what but... he looks like yep, we did no actually buy him some birthday presents just to give you guys an update of what he got i obviously got rid of the drawing table because He's not a kid anymore, and therefore, if he sat his ass down on that thing, it would probably crumple under the weight. Not to say that he's like a big guy or anything, but purely because it was made for a ch child and he's definitely not a child anymore. So we got him a laptop and I also got him a drawing tablet because as you can see, he is super into drawing, always has been, probably always will be, um, is a very creative minded sim. He also has a cheeky little photo of his dad's, which I just think is so cute. Um, so yeah, he has a drawing tablet. I kind of want him to uh, get a part time job so that he can save up for a camera as well. I do want him to have a part time job in this LP, but it's his birthday and I don't really feel like sending him to work on his birthday. He also still has an after school activity, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work with a part time job as well. There's a lot to take into consideration. I might just have him become like a gardener because he actually has like a few pots out back. He's always been super into gardening. Um, so I might have him become like a little landscaper and I think they only work on the weekends because Omar would definitely want to teach his son responsibility. Speaking of responsibility, this toddler has none. She is currently asleep just because we put her down for a nap considering I said in the last part we were going, oh my god, Fidget, are you okay? What? What? I love when dogs lie like this when they're asleep. My dog does this. He doesn't like being on his back. He would much rather like sleep on his side or like curled up. Fred never really gets on his back much, but I freaking love it when dogs do that. But she does definitely look dead. Hey, I heard you became friends with Adriana. I did indeed. Um... So yeah, we're gonna take him bowling. I was gonna take him with the fam, but I kind of just want to take him with his friends. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what we are gonna do? We are actually, we've never had a curfew before, but now that he's a teenager, I want Omar to set a curfew. So he has to be back in this oh, house before 9 p.m. So we have that. I'm going to clear the bulletin board because it's getting a little bit crowded on there. There we go. So 9 p.m. You got to be back, dude. We are going to go not plant a bug on him, but we are going to have a discussion with him. Have a deep conversation about the new house rules. What? There's a fire? Oh my God. No, no, no. I thought I fireproof this. How the hell can there be a fire? Omar, put it out. No, don't sit. Don't sit. Don't sit. Don't sit. Don't put Joanne here. Extinguish the damn fire. I thought... No! Everybody get out! Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, jeez, Louise. Our son freaking saved us. Lionel. Thank you. I thought Quincy had fireproofed it. I thought he had put a fire guard. Are you serious? I'm gonna replace that. Quincy, eliminate accidental fires. Well, clearly freaking not. Didn't eradicate the chance of fire, did it? Because it just sat on fire. Eliminate, that means completely. That doesn't say like eliminate the chance of a fire. It literally says eliminates fire. 
That did not eliminate it. Sim gurus, I have something to discuss at EA Play. You best believe that I am gonna literally get as fired up as that cushion just was. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation? Heck yeah, I'll make a donation. We have quite a lot of money, so I mean, we are... We're the good guys. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I was literally just listening to that song. I don't even really like her. I know, like, Billy is, like, the, um, the complete, like, poster child of music at the minute. And I don't really listen to her, but, like, bad guy, it's kind of, it's kind of a guilty pleasure right now. So we are going to send him out bowling. We are going to travel. Hopefully, we can have our friends join us. So, there is a place called Dave and Bowlers, which I love. Clearly, a pun on Dave and Busters, which I will be going to next week in Hollywood. Heck yeah, I'm so excited. I freaking love Dave and Busters, and I'm so excited to go back. I've never eaten there, but like, it's just fun, isn't it? It's just fun. So we're gonna invite Jaden, we're gonna invite Callie, we're gonna invite Amelia, and yeah, we can invite Carter as well. So the four of them, well, the five of them, including Lionel, are gonna go for a bowl. If you guys want me to age up Ricardo, then let me know. Um, but I think we will be meeting more teenagers, obviously, because now we're in high school. I'll just have him like meet friends the first few days that he goes and hopefully he will meet some nice teenagers fingers crossed but yeah if you want me to age up ricardo then let me know but we don't really know him all that well so here we are dave and bowlers oh no he has the paw print one i didn't mean to give him that one i meant to give him the plain one i will have to change his hair oh why does amelia look so sad what's going on ask for money i love that ask our big cousin for money i'm fairly sure our family has like more money than them at the minute but let's go bowling gang uh are we in a group yes we are congrats on your recent birthday thanks grandma you still didn't send me a freaking thingy though did you a birthday present invite to a bowl a three carter Jaden, callie amelia Boom. Let's go. Let's go bowling. I'm probably gonna have to edit all of this out because it takes too long and it's happy hour. But these are all underage and therefore will not be drinking. Who is she? She's a young adult. She's in the party animals. Ali Taylor. And then we have Kira, Ciara, Ciara, however you want to pronounce it. I mean, there's a whole load of uh, ways to pronounce that name. <gasps> Look at him with his little bowling shoes on. He's yeah. so cute. Yeah. Oh, dude, are you serious? Literally, literally his first bowl. Freaking birthday boy. Man down. Oh, jeez, Louise. See, this is why you're more of an artistic sim because clearly you are not athletic in the slightest. That bowl literally, that ball literally didn't leave like your hand. You completely followed through with that. Where's Amelia? Did Amelia go home? Are you serious? Our, li our cousin went home. I was about to say our literal cousin. How else can she be a cousin? <gasps> Bryce, he's a teen and he's part of party animals. Bryce Taylor. Ooh, I feel like Amelia would kind of be into him. I'm not gonna lie. I can kind of see them together. Oh my god, look at this freaking bowling team. What the hell? Oh, it's the Giordanos. Seriously, the Giordanos have a bowling team? That's the weirdest thing i've ever seen family bowling team this guy even has a custom freaking ball oh he's not even good he's here wearing like a bowling shirt he's literally not even good at bowling that is so embarrassing 
Right, I think I'm literally, oh, I'm gonna send Omar to work because I'm not even there. We are definitely not gonna be done by 9 p.m. Everyone just full on left. Everyone, are you serious? My voice sounds so bad because I went out last night and I shouted a lot. I cannot believe li everyone, literally everyone just left. We're here bowling by ourselves. There's no point even bowling. Well, shows what good friends you guys are. Thanks. Really, really appreciate it. Let's invite Jaden to hang out at the current lot. Maybe there was too many people. Maybe that's why he left. That is the saddest thing I have ever heard. Jaden will be right over. Okay, let's go give a friendly intro to this dude. He bowled a game of 27. Well, everyone else left, so I wasn't going to continue bowling, was I? That would be a little bit dumb. Did you give him a friendly introduction? He's like, maybe Bryce is my way in in high school. Maybe if I try and Im impress Bryce. He's clearly part of the cool gang because he's part of the party animals, so... Let's tell him an unbelievable story. And we'll talk about party animals a little bit. Oh no. Lionel, it's been one day. Not even a full day of being a teenager. And I feel like you are falling into the wrong crowd already, buddy. Jaden didn't even come. Honestly, fake friends. We need new friends. We need to trade them in and get some new friends, apparently. But Bryce is sat talking to us. I want to try and, like, get to know him a little bit. Don't ask him about woohoo. I can tell you, that's not a cool thing to do. Party Animals is a great place to hang out. I bet it is. I haven't actually seen him have a drink, though. He is active. Okay. Let's enthuse about new albums with him. So we know that he's active. Let's have a... Let's discuss interests. Oh, he doesn't like music, apparently. Oh, now Lionel's feeling awkward. That's because he's such like a music geek. He's like super into like jazz and piano and stuff. Bryce is probably like, ew, why do you listen to that boring stuff? Seriously, you're taking a photo of you flexing. Weird flex, but okay. Is he about to go order a drink? Oh no, he's grabbing chips. Oh, that's the sweetest thing. What an angel. He's like here at a bar. And he doesn't even try to order a drink. He's just like, no, I just want some chips. Like, I'm just a little bit hungry. I swear, I'm not drinking. I don't think Omar's gonna be impressed that Amelia ditched her younger cousin and left him l with party animals. Why do I keep trying to say literally? The word literally just keeps wanting to jump off my tongue. I definitely don't want that to happen. Let's go give him props. I still want to get to know him more though. I want to learn more about this dude. Because the more we learn about him, oh, uh, we can't get to know him anymore. Let's have a gossip with him then. And tell an unbelievable story again. And then discuss interests. Deep conversation, maybe. Then we might be able to get to know him. I sound so croaky right now. I probably sound like I smoke 40 cigarettes a day, which I don't. I never smoke, but that's probably what I sound like because I was singing along to so many emo anthems last night and it was wonderful. The after the life can be tough. Come tell the local bartender about it. It's ghost night. It's 8 p.m. Okay, we definitely gotta be back before curfew. He's a klepto. Okay, we are definitely falling into the wrong crowd. But that's what we get when our friends ditch us. Like, we weren't just gonna, like, hang out by ourselves. <gasps> Charles is on a bowling team. I love that. Oh my god, why do all of these people have... 
I love how this is his bowling get up, like dungarees. This is the most Charles thing I have ever seen. I love this man. I really want to get to know him. Like I feel him and Lionel could be really, really good friends. I just love how that's his outfit. Like not the regular old like bowling get up. He's full on wearing dungarees, which is just incredible. Boy has so much style, but we're going to get Lionel home because like I said, I really don't want him like already disobeying Omar. Like I don't want to completely eradicate their trust. So let's head back home. He's not even at home to be fair. Lionel's at work. We're going to travel by ourselves considering everybody else left. I wish he was sad because I would seriously have him go like cry under the covers. I think I'm actually gonna have him um, talk to someone online. He's like, right, my real friends don't want to hang out with me. That's fine. I can always make internet friends. So why don't you come up here and not web, um, socialize. <gasps> Find a pen pal. Number one, find a pen pal. How's kiddo? She needs to go potty. She is freaking out. Okay, I'm gonna reset her. Go to the potty. I don't know why this glitch keeps happening. No clue. It just just keeps on, keeps on keeping on. And she also needs to eat a little bit as well. But I really don't know if we have anything that a child can eat. She can eat Italian meatballs, right? I'm fairly sure they'll be fine. She won't have a diarrhea explosion in her, um, in her nappy after that. I'm fairly sure she'll be fine. That's what we can hope for. Anyway, Quincy, go and use the bathroom, my dearie, dearie, dearie boy. And then why don't you come and watch some TV, actually. He's tried to find a pen pal and then I'm also wait 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 dude no I want you to socialize chat I don't know who he's gonna end up chatting with also what the hell is he listening to I can't even tell what this music is boy has such an eccentric taste he really does he's like an old man in a teenager's body i have no clue who he's chatting to honestly what is this music what are you doing where's the baby the baby <laughs> you can tell i've watched uh schitt's creek recently oh the baby <laughs> If any of you guys have watched Shit's Creek and know what I'm on about right now, please just yell at me in the comments about Shit's Creek because I seriously love that program so flipping much. It is amazing. You know what? I think we're gonna have him get a job if I'm completely honest. Oh, I forgot we have the dating app. I'm also gonna install like a prom mod. So don't worry guys, this is gonna be like, this is gonna be all out like teenage hood for sure. But let's find a job if my game wouldn't crash. All right, here we go. He's looking. All right, so he could be a babysitter. Get paid to play with kids and keep them safe and all that. I think that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday though. Is the red when they're working or is the blue when they're working and the red is when they're off? I think the blue is when they're in. I think that's Saturday and Sunday. So this is only Saturday and Sunday as well. No, surely they won't work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, the blue is when it happens because after school activities. Ah, so this is just Saturday and Sunday. So we could go, I think we're gonna go for manual labor. We could be a babysitter, but I feel like he'd wanna get away from that. I feel like manual labor is more his thing. You're young and healthy, so get paid by people who aren't. From mowing lawns to operating big machines, your muscle is where the money is. Okay, let's do it. Oh no! He can't have two jobs at once and the after school activity classes as a job. No! What?
what do you guys think? I really don't want him to quit band yet. I'm gonna cancel out of it for now. I'm gonna keep him in band for the time being. Um, but you guys should comment down below and let me know because... Maybe if he does get more into this crowd though, they'll kind of like bully him to leaving band because they're like, oh, band is for nerds. So who knows? Maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing in this LP. Poor little Lionel. I genuinely just want to give this guy a hug. Like, he absolutely got pooped on by his friends today and it just makes me sad. Why don't you come and actually grab a piece of your birthday cake? He actually didn't have a piece of cake this morning, so he's gonna do that. Oh, Quincy is just here with her watching kids TV. That is so cute. We're gonna read her a toddler book instead. And what else can we do? Oh, can we not snuggle on the sofa? Yeah, come on, climb up. You can you can join me. We're gonna read you a book, even though it's like Some 11 p.m. and you should most definitely be asleep by now. By. But Daddy is not home, so we can get into all the trouble that we want to. This is so cute. For the time being, I'm gonna give Lionel his camera, and I'm gonna have him take a photo. Wait, wait, wait. Stop eating your cake for a sec, because I want to get this. I want to capture this. Lionel, put the cake down. Lionel, thank you. Just put it down. You, you don't need to walk all the way over here. Just literally stick it in your inventory. Now you're so far away from them. <gasps> She's looking right at the camera. That is the creepiest thing I've ever witnessed in my entire life. What the actual hell. I hate it. Um, I think we're going to go for a landscape one though. I hate that she's full on staring at the camera. <laughs> Is that not creepy? These are gonna be really bad. So I'm just gonna take medium for the chance that hopefully one of them isn't ruined by like a thumbprint or a freezer bunny or like blurriness. I hate how she was looking right at the camera. Is that not so creepy? But still a very cute memory for them to have. So there we go. It's been added to our family wall. I'm so excited to fill this up with like all the new kids and like the prom pictures. Like when Lionel goes to prom, he's gonna have his photo taken like on the porch. It's just gonna be amazing. But I'm gonna end this part here guys. So thank you all so, so much for tuning in to this part of Heyday. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, Give it a big thumbs up. I think in the next part, we are gonna be adopting another child. And unfortunately, because I am pre-recording right now, I can't actually like ask you guys what you want them to be. But considering we have a toddler in the family, I'm like, I might adopt a kid, like a child. Um, so like the middle step between these two, just to kind of bridge the gap in like, age and also I don't want to like teach them everything from like a toddler so I think we might adopt a kid um maybe go for I think probably another girl I think the boys really are getting on well with Joe so I feel like another baby girl would be a good idea and like I said unfortunately I am pre-recording so I can't really ask for your opinion on this decision which I wish I could because you guys always have really cool ideas. But I think we're going to adopt a little girl in the next part. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.